One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. Okay, so today, it's kind of a, it's funny. I have a list of topics that I like to do every single week. And sometimes what I want to do gets interrupted between what I feel I have to do. Like, I feel like there's some necessity ones. Like, you guys can probably tell the webinars that I do that, like, I really want to do. Like, like moments that matter. Like I was really excited about that one. Um, and you know, I can't remember like all the other ones, like evolution of a trader is one that I want. This one is kind of one that I feel like I kind of have to do. Um, uh, just because one, I get a lot of DMS about it. And one, like I, I like I'm still getting, um, it's still, it's still a flaw I see in all of the chart chart recaps and stuff. And so today we're going to be talking about full size positions. We're going to, I mean, specifically, this is going to be a kind of like how to really technical, like let's dig into the chart and be, how do we get into full size when it's the most appropriate, when to not be in full size, why we don't seem to get in full size and all, all, all that good stuff. I would actually say that this is probably a little bit of a squeeze and just because like we're, you know, we got this like this gap up green, green, green stuff. And I think it's just because people just didn't expect it. Probably a lot of shorts up here that are stopping out. So I'm guessing that's what it is. Um, I'm, I, I mean, I'm sure there's probably a bullish out, outlook now as, I mean, it seems like, again, not to get political, but I, I guess I think the market kind of runs on that a little bit, but like, it seems like we're seeing less COVID headlines and more rioting headlines. And so, you know, or rioting and protesting and stuff like that and um, racial injustice and all that kind of stuff. And so we're seeing like that's more um, dominating the headlines a little bit and less so like all these cases, all these cases, all these cases. And, you know, with, with the lack of all of the look at these new cases, look at these new cases, look at these hospitals, look at the, the outbreaks and all that stuff. Because, I mean, there's still a little bit of it, but the, just the mass decrease of that and the more focus on the racial injustice kind of, um, you know, politics there. I think that's kind of just kind of quelled the fears just because people aren't being reminded of it every single day. Is it a sector? No, it's not a sector. It might be a sector like the shipping. Yeah, like, yeah, sector. When these sector plays go off, right, whether it's shipper, China, tech, energy, um, COVID, right? We had a sector, um, you know, whenever you have like a sector push, well, at the tail end of the sector is when people stop caring about the PRs. Yeah, it's like a, yeah. People stop caring about these 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 PRs, and that's when all of the gappers tend to just crap. And so we're kind of seeing that, right? When COVID PRs come up, people don't care, right? People just don't care. Like we're, you know, like people think that like bigger companies are on on the like we're already starting to get an edge of the vaccine kind of stuff. So these small cap PRs that put out like COVID bullshit, nobody gives a shit anymore. So if you're along, good. I mean, good luck, man. It's really difficult, like. I'm, I'm more of a long and I like to just, I've just been toning it back. Um, and I want to talk about that after, once I finish this slide, various factors, obviously the works that works, death candle stuff, Jivo XSPA offering, and even, even the, uh, actually I'm kind of lazy. I didn't see the end of PED today, but didn't it like epically gap down? Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. Anyway, uh, so I so basically CJX. This was my trade on it. I just bought the VWAP reclaim and and sold into 950 um, because it's uh, kind of just what I said. It's a VWAP reclaim. It didn't have power. I didn't like that at VWAP reclaim, and I thought it could run into resistance at nine, and it did. I was like, well, shit, I'm probably selling it all right here, and it did. Like, good thing I did because it dropped massively to 750. If the stock is hard to borrow and has options available, do I trade the put options? I don't trade options. I should, but I don't know. I'm kind of lazy. I mean, obviously it's kind of like the small caps of large caps. Like I should, 
Um, yeah, it's just a VYB claim, no power. If it was going up, it was going to do so either grindy or rangy, kind of what I just talked about, right? If this was going to go up, it would have been grindy or it would have been rangy, right? And both of those I'm not good at, so I don't like to be a part of it. I like taking the shots that I like to take and very few shorts. You never want, a, yeah, you never want a stock that went from weak to strong. You never want a short a stock that went from weak to strong. And so what are a couple ways to identify that this was weak to strong? Well, here we are, you know, we're testing here at like, you know, all the short C is if we break four, 407, then we can go break four, domino down, cover 390. That's what shorts see out of this stock. I know I'm a short, right? If I'm shorting this stock, kind of sub view, I'm thinking fade and crack at the open, right? This is what I see. So I see that there are shorts down here hoping for this fade, the chasers. And there's also people, some VWAP shorts, but there's also some fantasy orders here. So here's the thing. When this pops up and hits all of them, all of them in one swipe, right? Like if you did a two minute chart, it's in one swipe, right? You do a two minute chart, it's in one swipe. Not like I really do that. And so, I mean, naturally it squeezes, right? Naturally it squeezes. Yeah, I would consider this, I would definitely consider that a short chat because the, the, the strong move happened too fast, right? Like, uh, you know, if, if, if it's slower, if it pushes, if it kind of rejects harshly, like if this reject would have came back sub view up, different story, right? But it held and it stayed. And that's what caused the trap is because it kept people, it kept shorts unhappy for a long enough period of time. And of course, this was the easy to borrow one, right? So naturally, you have a lot more shorts than because everyone can short this one. And for a week, there's been no borrows on anything. So everyone's shorting this one because they can. This was actually a solid trade. I mean, you, you know, you kind of just have just a, a basic line short on here. Someone actually messaged me about this. And here's, here, here's what I want to talk about. Like, this is a really good example of uh, starting late and starting slow and kind of like how you can use that one here. When you have one really solid line, the, 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 starting late and, the starting late and starting slow strategy would say just put your order at 550, small order, and just kind of give it an hour, right? That's kind of like the start low and start late webinar. I think that's, I, I think I called it the, the powerful pair or something. That's a webinar I talked about. That, this is the only really trade setup I saw on this. There was a VWAP reclaim down here. I mean, look at the volume. You can't, you can't take this trade on the VWAP reclaim trade, you can't really take this. Like, that's really hard. Like, like it's, in, it's in the middle of the day. Like, you, you got it. Like, this is hard. Like, you can put a stab on here, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Did news come out? Maybe then, like, because the line, like, I don't know. This is a very hard long to capture because of the low volume makes it really difficult to catch on your radar. And in this, this week where longs kind of suck, this and, and this kind of price action when it kind of everyone knows like there's like a level here at 550 from the the, the pre market so like 540 kind of stuffed here so like you know if you missed it it's kind of hard that's why you just kind of this is the kind of trade where you kind of have to if you're gonna short it you're gonna short it on this line you're gonna go small and like just give it time that's the kind of trade that you need to take with this kind of stock I feel these kinds of like stocks with super obvious lines but um it it's kind of like making it making you look making it look like it can break like this like a consolidation kind of stuff this small size and weight thank you so much for watching our video if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking the button here we do our best to post a new video every single day if you have any questions about mic or any general trading questions please text tosh using the number here also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here